Hey guys, welcome back to Simtech channel. This is tutorial 4 on our series on IDMT relays calculations as you can see on your screen. Now, in this tutorial, they say using information that are given above, which are, we've got a fault here of 12,000 amp, and we have a relay 2, okay, that is near the fault, that's got the CT ratio of 800 over 1, and a plug setting of 150, and then there is another relay that is relay 1, same uh, CT ratio, and a plug setting of 125 percent and these are the plug setting please watch my previous tutorial on this series so you can familiarize yourself on the plug settings and all other relevant parameters of an idmt relays now in this tutorial they say we need to calculate the tms values okay for relay one and two which are these two relays if relay to must trip in 0.3 seconds now remember we already have a predetermined fault in this bus bar because this is a bus bar and the fault here is 12 kilo amp and they say because of that fault this relay r2 is already set up to trip at 0.3 seconds okay for the fault at f of course now we need to use a normal inverse idmt relays with a nominal current of 1 amp and assume a grading margin of 0.4 seconds. Now, in my previous tutorial, I've explained about the IDMT relays, characteristics curve, and in that series of tutorial, I also explained these grading margins of 0.4, which takes account because basically an IDMT relay is a tripping device that needs to trip, and in that, it goes into a couple of sequences so which include a function of a circuit breaker so based on that those sequences combine into a grading margin of 0.4 seconds i explained it on that tutorial please go and update yourself by watching that tutorial on idmt relay characteristics curve now in this tutorial we're just going to focus on solving okay the TMS values of both these relays. TMS is the time multiplier settings. And on the previous tutorial, that is tutorial 3 on IDMT relay, we discuss more about this TMS. So now before we go ahead, please uh, don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up if you found something meaningful, of course, and subscribe to Simtech channel so that you don't miss new tutorial of this nature. Thank you in advance. Now, moving on, the most important thing to establish when uh, solving any uh, equation or any electrical or any exercise problem given in front of you, you need to establish what you have, the parameters that you have, that's going to lead you to find the parameters that you don't have, what they're asking you. So, based on that, we are calculating for relay 2, we know that. TA is already given. So TA is what? TA is the actual time. 0 0.3 seconds of what? Of relay 2. There. So that is this relay here. We know that it must trip in 0 0.3 seconds. So that is what we know. And then the second parameter that we know, which is important, is the fault current in this bus bar. So the fault in this bus bar is 12 kilo amps. And another thing we know that is the nominal current for our relay, okay, is 1 amp. And always notice how the nominal current is always the same with the secondary here because you can see the ratio is 801. So that 1 amp, there is a secondary current of the current transformer and it's exactly the same with the nominal current. The next parameter is the plug setting for this relay that is 150%. So that is exactly 1.5. So that will be somewhere here in this IDMT relay okay now in our previous tutorial we saw that TMS okay the time multiplier setting here is equal to the actual time divided by the tripping time which is uh, TC so we need TA divided by TC that gives us our TMS but in order to calculate TC we need to find M so we know that M is equal to I secondary over IN times the plug setting. So that basically your setting current. 
okay but what is a secondary current now the secondary current we know that ct ratio is equal to i primary over i secondary that is given here 800 over 1 so now what we're going to do is to determine the secondary current and the secondary current means it's a primary current divided by CT ratio. Also noting that the primary current is the same as the fault current because that's a current that is traversing or passing through the primary of the current transformer. Okay. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is to determine a one specific formula for M that will eliminate the need for first calculating the I secondary and then replacing into the formula of M and then calculating the value of M. So what I mean by that is we're going to say M is equal to the primary current divided by CT ratio. Why? Because that is a I secondary. So we're basically replacing I secondary here into the formula, which is this expression here into here. And then we're maintaining I N times the plug settings. And from that, it's a division of another division. Assuming that there is a one here, we can then say, okay, I primary replacing it by the I fault divided by the CT ratio times the inverse of this is one over I N times the plug settings. And multiplying it, we're going to get I fault divided by the CT ratio times I N times plug setting. So this one here will now represent the general formula of M, which is a multiple of settings. What do we have in order to calculate M? So we know we got the fault current, we got the CT ratio, we got IN, we got the plug setting. So basically we can determine the value of M easily. So we have everything replaced and remember the plug setting, which is 150% is equal to 1.5 there. And we find a value of M that is equal to 10. So the multiple of settings in this case here is equal to 10. So we move on, then we can calculate TC. They say we must use a normal inverse. Normal inverse, we know that TC is equal to 3 over log M. Again, if you are unsure about this, you can go watch the previous tutorial where I did a bit of explanation there. And replacing the value of M into the formula gives us a TC of basically 3 seconds. Okay? So now from here, we can then calculate our TMS value of the first relay, basically on the downstream side. That is relay 2. And the TMS is TA over TC, as we say in the beginning. And then replacing, we get a value of TMS of 0 0.1 seconds. That is 0 0.2 divided by 3. So that gives us 0 0.1 seconds. So we've now calculated the value of TMS for relay 2. Now we need to calculate the TMS for relay 1. Now the, the next stage here is very important. So you have to pay attention because... If you miss it, then the rest of your calculation is basically going to be wrong. So we now need to calculate for relay 1 for the same fault. Because remember, relay 2 is protecting for the fault at F. But relay 1 is also protecting for the same fault. So in case this relay 2 here fail to close or to break, this relay 1 need to break. This is why you calculate the timing. So that these relay R1 and R2, they should not have the same timing. Why is that the case? Because they cannot break the circuit at the same time. So relay 1 here must allow a specific timing for relay 2 to break. Just if the relay 2 fail to break, then relay 1 should come in action and separate whatever is on this side of the circuit. Okay, now moving on. We know that the plug setting for relay 1 is obviously it's 125%. So it's somewhere there. So which give it a plug setting of, of 1.25. Okay. Now pay attention. We follow the same procedure except we must add a grading margin of 0 0.4 seconds to TA, the actual tripping time. So that's it. So they said here that the relay 2 is breaking, is going to trip in 0 0.3 seconds, but they say also that there is a 0 0.4 second grade margin. What it means is this relay here is going to trip after 0 0.3 second plus the grading margin. So this relay is going to trip in 0 0.3 seconds. 
but there is a grading margin also that must be added into this relay too so which make that the total time for the clearance that this relay must wait is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 so this is where we get a value of 0 0.7 seconds here so r1 here is going to wait 0 0.7 seconds before tripping so after 0 0.7 seconds if this relay already tripped then this one doesn't have to trip anymore because the fault have been cleared already but if after 0 0.7 seconds this one is not tripping, maybe it's faulty, it's failing to trip, then this one is going to trip. So that is a very important uh, factor to remember while doing these IDMT relays calculations. Again, please don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up if you find something useful. Now the next thing is, as we're following the same procedure, is to calculate M using the same formula. And in this time here, the only thing that changed here is the plug settings. This side here it was 1.5, uh, 150%. Now it's 1.25, which is 125%. So that gives us a value of M that is equal to 12. Now the next thing here is obviously is to calculate your TC since you now got the value of M. So TC is basically that and it gives us a value of 2.78 seconds. And from there, you can then calculate your TMS since you now have your TC. Now you can understand they're going to be very different because now this TMS here, 2, assuming this one is TMS 1, okay, and this is TMS 2, it's 0 0.7 divided by 278, it's give us 0 0.252 seconds, and you can see it's higher than that, and that is exactly correct. So basically, this is how you calculate the time multiplier settings for relay 1 and relay 2 in this particular example thanks for watching please uh, don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel and stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial until next time cheers